What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope y'all are doing good today. Um, it looks nice out right now, but this morning it was snowing here. So last few videos I've been wearing shorts and a t-shirt. Today got a jacket, pants, but I've also got my trusty Crocs on. Those don't change with the weather. So that's for you, Just Diesels. Anyways, got the bed out here. It is completely done sanding. So it is now time to start body work. So let's get into it. So like I said, prefacing this uh, part of the paint project, I'm no body person. Um, I know a little bit. I'm going to try and get better at it as I go. Um, to be honest, prior to filming this, I actually grabbed out my hammer and dollies and worked on these little dents a little bit. And they, they came out super easy. It, it kind of, uh, I guess you could say it kind of boosted my confidence. So hopefully it doesn't give me a false sense of uh, pride in my work. But what we're going to do, we're going to work on this dent right here. It's hard to see that one, but there's a nice long dent right there. See if I can get it at a different angle. Okay, we're gonna work on that. We're gonna work this one just a little bit more. I'd like to raise this up just a little bit more. You can tell it's the whole thing is kind of indented just a little bit, but it's almost there. Um, there is a dent right here that you can see. Uh, this one should be. This will be a really good good one to demonstrate some hammer and dolly work on it because um, it's. I mean, it's the textbook dent where, you know, you had an impact which created two protrusions that actually are high spots. So perfect for some hammer and dolly work. Um, and then I got some pry bars as well that we can sneak in back here. We're going to try and work this dent out as well. Um, and then I think, <clears throat> I think that's about it for the lower portion for the dent so we'll do those and then we will actually flip the bed over i've said it in almost every video for the past i don't know three or four videos that we're about to flip the bed over but after we get those little dents worked out we'll flip the bed over i promise okay so let's get working on it so let me show you first what tools i'm working with another thing you'll notice i kind of rearranged a little bit um, I actually filmed it while I was doing it yesterday. Um, didn't really think it was great content. If you guys want to see it, let me know. I'll make a video out of it and post it up. I actually showed a bunch of the different first-gen parts that I've got sitting around the garage that I actually want to get rid of a lot of them. So if you want to see that, let me know. I'll throw a quick video together on that and I'll post it up. So right here I've got uh, the two. These are the two Harbor Freight hammer and dolly sets. Um, I think they'll do just fine for what I'm working with. I'm not, like I said, a professional body person. Got a couple pry bars. I've got a few dents in the cab as well that I'm going to need those for. Um, and then uh, this is just all the stuff ready for paint. I've got pretty much everything except the paint. I've got primer, hardener, reducer, body filler, hardener for the body filler, a bunch of sandpaper, the rack for the spray gun. I've got a uh, guide coat. Um, I've even got the Raptor liner kit for the bed. This is my degrease and de-waxer. Um, so I've got pretty much everything. So we should make some good progress on this. Also, I wanted to mention, thanks for sticking around and, and supporting the channel. Uh, this has not been going as fast as I've wanted it to. Uh, many of you don't know, but I'm actually working on a PhD right now, and the past month has been killer. I've taken two huge exams. The last one was a couple days ago. Um, so things are opening up for me, and I should be able to make a lot more progress on this in the next couple weeks. So thanks for the support, guys. All right, so here's the tools I'm working with. So let's go work on that first dent in the corner that I told you was kind of a textbook dent. Also, before we get moving on the video today, um, I wanted to get your guys' feedback on the length of my videos. Um, I try and upload twice a week for sure, every Tuesday and Friday right now. 
Um, and I've been trying to keep the videos between 10 and 15 minutes, but I've been finding lately with what we're doing with the paint project, it's really hard to trim it down to that. I could easily make uh, 25 minute videos uh, twice a week, if not longer. Um, I don't want to bore you guys. I want to give you guys content you enjoy. So comment below. Let me know what's an ideal length of video. Um, if they're shorter, I'm going to have to cut out some of the detail. If they're longer, I'll give more detail. I'll teach you guys a little bit more. So keep that in mind. But let me know what you guys think and thanks for the input. So there's plenty of videos on YouTube on how to do this hammer and dolly stuff. I'll try and explain to you my understanding of it just in case that resonates better with you. Um, but essentially when you get a dent you'll have a point of impact and this is typically the case. You have a point of impact and what it does it obviously makes a low spot where the impact was and then usually to the sides it rip, ripples out and puts pressure out and creates t uh, some high spots to the side of it. Okay. So when you're working with like a hammer and dolly, what you want to do is find a dolly that fits the curvature that you're trying to go for, which would be the curve of this corner, and get it behind on the low spot, and you're going to push pressure out, so into the low spot, and then with your hammer, you're going to hammer the high spots, and by conforming and, and reforming those high spots with the pressure going out on the low spot, it, it kind of molds back to where it was supposed to be. So that's a very simplified definition or process of how to do it. This one will be a little bit tricky. I've got access up in there through here, um, but I don't have room to fit what I would consider to be the perfect shaped dolly. So we'll just have to work little spots at a time until it kind of works itself out. So wish me luck guys. So yeah, I can't get a dolly in there right where I want. Uh, there's a little hole right here. So what I've got is a pry bar. And instead of prying the, the point of it into it, I'm actually going to lay this flat part against it and see. Yep, that should work perfect. And I, I'm not going to put a ton of pressure because I don't want to deform this metal over here. Um, but even just a little bit of pressure is enough to help kind of deform that. So before I start, I'm going to give you guys a very close look at the dent so we can maybe see some before and after footage. You can see it's kind of got a crease down in the middle of it. Okay.
All right, so just two or three minutes of work in that dent. It's definitely not perfect yet, but I'm just gonna give you a little peek at it so far. So you can see much better at this point. And my goal is to get all these dents so that obviously there's no high spots. That's the main goal is no high spots because those will show for sure on the paint. And any low spots, I want them to be at most an eighth of an inch, maybe a quarter if that's, you know, if that's all I can get to. But hopefully about an eighth of an inch because I don't want any body filler that's thicker than that. Okay, I'm gonna uh, hit another dent that's kind of in conjunction with this one. Not that this one's completely done yet, but I think this ripple may be affecting it, but there's a dent right here. All right, let's take a look at it. So I 
pop this one out a little bit. I popped these little guys out a little bit. And that big one is, you can see there's still, where'd it go? There's a little spot there. But, came out pretty good. <clears throat> so a couple more things you guys should know about when doing body work like this. Again, I'm not an expert, so uh, asterisk sign. Um, you you want to do as little of this as you have to because basically the more you do, the more you're stretching the metal. Uh, and A, that can make it weaker, and B, the more it's stretched, the harder it is to really get it fine-tuned to where you want it. Okay, so you want to do as little as you can. As far as using the hammer and dollies, um, if you've got the dolly behind there and you're hitting right on the dolly, So in general, if you're hitting right on the dolly with the dolly behind there, that's going to tend to stretch the metal because you're hitting between those two very hard surfaces and the metal, all it can do is displace laterally, okay? So in order to avoid that, what you want to start off doing to do kind of the coarse work is do what's called a hammer off dolly technique. So you hit next to the dolly around it based on the shape that it is but you're not hitting directly onto the surface of the dolly and so what that's going to do again you've got that pressure from the center of the dolly and the low spot pushing out and you're hitting the high spots with the hammer those two forces are going to counteract and it'll straighten the dent out now to fine tune it at the very end you can do a hammer on dolly technique and really kind of fine tune some of those little tiny dimples but that's not what you want to spend most of your work doing at the at the beginning Okay, so I'm going to, I may touch these ones just a little bit more, but not too much more. Um, I'm going to fine tune them when I get some sandpaper and guide coat and my sanding blocks and really kind of fine tune where the high and low spots are. But for right now, without the guide coat uh, and being able to see that, I'm going to leave these alone. And we're going to move to this one, which this one should be... A pretty satisfying one if we can get it so just looking along here you can see there's a high spot along this ridge okay and you can see the low spot is obviously this line through here so the something came kind of scraped through created a low spot and you've got a high spot up here and probably a little bit high spot right here so that's where I'm going to be doing my hammering and I'm going to have the dolly back behind there. Luckily, couldn't have chosen a better spot because I've got complete access in the back for, a, for whichever dolly I feel like I need to use. So I'm going to start with this very big, broad dolly that doesn't have a lot of curvature to it. Okay, another point to, to bring up this is a very long dent, okay? One of the terms you'll hear when doing this body work is first in, last out. So whichever spot is the most impacted, that's gonna be the last spot you're really working on. So we're gonna work on all these secondary problems first, and this will get a lot better as we do that, and then at the end, we can just focus on that. So I'm gonna actually focus on the edges of this and work in toward the middle. I wish I could get you guys a better angle because this is, it's really cool how easy it comes out. You'll just have to take my word for it, I guess.
And you'll also notice <clears throat> I'm doing a little bit at a time, then pulling off, kind of feeling it, seeing where I want to go next. If you get in there and just bang away at it, you'll, you'll go too far. You'll do too much. And like I said, we want to do as little as we have to. All right, it's, it's probably about 50% better already, if not more. So I'm going to switch dollies to something I can get a better grip on. This is crazy guys. It's it's pretty fun how you know just a little finesse work can get these out. But so the actual ridge of the dent, you know, where it's scraped through, you can see is still it's within our eighth of an inch threshold. But let me see if we can get other views. There you can kind of see. It's pretty much, you know, I'll do a little bit more on it, but again, I'm not going to do more than I want, or more than I need to, I guess is better said. So I'm very happy with this. This I would hope this would make my friend Charlie Pitcher proud. He's a guy I follow on, in, on Instagram. He's got a sweet first-gen crew cab as well, but he does metal work like you wouldn't believe. I'll put his Instagram handle on the screen right now, but... Hopefully my work would make him proud for such a beginner. That should wrap up this video. I thought that was really fun. Didn't think the body work would be, I didn't think it'd be so quick and go so smoothly. So I'm really happy with it. We'll be doing some more body work in the next video. Probably get into doing some blocking with the guide coat, really fine tuning. Maybe get into some body filler and get this thing ready for primer. So again, thanks for tuning in guys. Um, Really appreciate the support. Uh, let me know if there's anything you want to see or any questions you have, but we'll see you guys in the next video.